We're so annoyed about being stuck at home, we started thinking about everything else that we hate. And we came up with 10 things that we absolutely hate about keto. We'll talk about what grinds our gears right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it <laughs> i'm trying we're trying but you know here's the thing in the midst of this you know like social distancing yes. we're sitting at home we decided you know what let's have a little bit of fun with this so today we're going to go over 10 things that we absolutely hate about keto some things stink some things about being on keto stink there's a lot of good things but there's a few bad things about being on keto. So we're gonna go over to the 10 things that really annoy us about being on keto. Yeah. So you ready? Yes. Okay, so number 10, the awkward looks you get and the conversations that you have to have when you go food shopping. Yeah, not so much this week. This week, everybody's got like a cart full of eggs. Well, the funny part is this week, I went food shopping and hey, I needed eggs. And I grabbed seven dozen eggs and people are looking at me like you're hoarding, I'm like, this is every week though. This is my normal thing. Yeah. I mean, we go through more than a dozen eggs a day in our house. But yeah, the, those conversations you have to have with people of, why are you buying 20 pounds of bacon? Why are you buying 10 dozen eggs? Is that an entire cow in your cart? Why do you have so much heavy cream in your cart? Why is, what are you doing with all this butter? <laughs> and the funny part is, I say it all the time, they never said anything when there were 50 packages of Oreos in my cart. And don't kid yourself, we actually had a shopping cart full of 50 packs of discounted Oreos once. So, number nine. The awkward ordering at a restaurant. Yes. Right? Like, we can put Sally from When Harry Met Sally to shame when you're talking about, like, can you put that on the side? Like, we're the reason why they don't say at Burger King, like, yeah, special orders. We love special orders. No, special orders upset everybody. Yeah, so the awkward ordering and the lack of options. You know, there are some restaurants that are really good when it comes to going out to eat on keto. But then there's other ones that like, you know, like, hey, I would really, really, really like to go to a Mexican restaurant. But there's not very many keto options. It's pretty much fajitas. Well, and if you say, hey, could you change out this for that? Some restaurants are totally on board and excited about it, but other ones are like, <sighs> sure. While we're on the subject of restaurants, let's talk about number eight. The fact that when you go to restaurants, you have to pay for the sides, like the bread, or the potatoes or the french fries and you don't even get to eat them. So by the time you take everything off your plate, you're left with almost nothing. You have to order three times the amount of food to get half as much food as everybody else at your table. I feel like I'm just wasting my money half the time. Number seven is kind of personal. Okay. It used to be because you snored all the time that I could use that as an excuse to leave the room and watch the show I wanted to watch. Hey, hey. The girly shows. Hey, I, you know, I'm not the only one that used to snore. Now there's no more snoring. You used to snore all the time, and she, not only did she snore, it was awesome because pre-keto, Rachel would grind her teeth as she's falling asleep. So as soon as I heard that grinding of the teeth and the snoring, that meant Rachel was out cold, and now I could put on whatever I wanted on TV, and it would never bother her. Vicious lies. Number six. I spend a lot more money on clothes than I used to. And I have to share the mirror more. <laughs> so pre-keto, I never ever went clothes shopping. Mostly because I couldn't fit into anything and I hated going in and just seeing the size that I actually was. Like, you know, I'd go in, the 40 doesn't fit anymore. Now I gotta go to a 42. I just don't ever wanna see the 42. Or even worse, when it was, 
I don't want to see 44, so I'm just going to go into denial and wear basketball shorts. I was going to say, you had a uniform of basketball shorts and a giant t-shirt. Yeah. So ever since going on keto, I spend a lot more money on clothes, probably more than I should. Number five, snack options are not as easily available. You can't just go anywhere and get a keto option as a snack yeah. or side. Yeah, whether you want just a snack, like when you're on the go, you know, it's, it's a little bit more difficult to find keto friendly things or even like keto treats. A lot of the better keto treats, we talk about it all the time. If you find it in the store and it's cheap, probably got terrible ingredients. So a lot of the better things like the perfect keto bars and stuff like that, you can't just go to your local grocery store. You have to plan ahead and either order them or bring them with you. Number four is the uncomfortable conversations that you have to have with your friends, family members, and even your doctors. Why is every conversation got to be about what I eat? <laughs> I don't ask other people of what they eat and what is the reasoning behind what they eat. Just like, why do I have to explain myself everywhere I go? For me, it comes down to like having to explain to people that like, hey, like all this stuff that you've heard about saturated fat being bad for you, it's not true. All of this stuff that you've heard about how canola oil is healthier, it's not true. The fact that you have to tell people like high cholesterol, it's okay so long as you have low triglycerides. I hate having those conversations because nobody ever believes you. And a lot of the doctors don't even understand it yet. Well, and also you feel like you have to get in a conversation with people talking about them justifying their food choices. Okay, you do you. Right. I, I'm not your priest. You're not trying to confess to me or make justification <laughs> for why you're doing something. Just like, okay, let's have a conversation not about food. Right. Number three is a biggie for me. And that is ever since we've lost weight, People think we did it by exercising, so they invite me to do physical movement activities. Like, hey, let's go to the gym. You like the gym, right? No, I don't like the gym. I ate my way to a smaller size. I don't wanna go to the Zumba class. No, I don't wanna yoga. No, I don't wanna move at all. Yeah, the people that come up to us all the time are like, oh, you lost all that weight by eating super healthy, eating like no fat and doing a lot of exercise, right? Like. Uh, no. I mean, it is fun to be able to say, no, I lost all this weight eating like a stick of butter a day, but not so keen into the constant invitations to go run a 10K. No, I don't want to do a spin class. I don't want to do Pilates. I don't want to do hot yoga. I don't want to do any of those things. I want to sit on the couch and eat my beef jerky and pork rinds. Number two. I can no longer use the pain in my ankle as an excuse to avoid social events. That's right. We're going out with my friends. You're not tired and you have the energy and you can stand on your foot. So yes, we are, we are doing some walking. <laughs> so pre keto, I was always able to use the excuse of my ankle hurts too much. You know, I was on my feet all day. I just can't stand. Or when we would go to Disney world or universal, I got to ride around in a scooter and skip all the lines because my ankle hurt. I can't use that as an excuse anymore. We're, and sometimes that kind of stinks. We're going to Home Depot and strolling around all the aisles looking at the flowers. I like looking at the flowers. <laughs> that leads us to number one. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one doing this. Like I'm a total oddball and friends and family are not eating like I'm eating and I'm making everybody feel uncomfortable and I'm a total weirdo. Well, I got news for you. You're not the only one doing this. You guys aren't the only one doing this because we're all doing this together. We're in a complete giant family, whether you're watching us here or you're a member of our Two Crazy Ketos family group, or maybe you're just seeing us for the first time and you're getting involved in this incredible keto community. There's a lot of people doing this and that's why we need to be here to support each other. So there's no reason to get angry with other people who maybe aren't doing it. No need to explain yourself, just enjoy your life. And when you have people who are making comments, just come in and share the funny stories with everybody else in our family group. Exactly. So in the end, obviously these were just some fun things that like, you know, we say we don't like about keto, but you know what? I'm willing to deal with all of these things and a lot more because of all of the health benefits. Me too. And because of the fact that we get to eat bacon and eggs and burgers and steak and corned beef, which we're and about to eat, butter and heavy cream and chicken ice wings. cream and chicken wings. 
I'm and and all of the health benefits. It's worth it to have these few kind of funny things. Yeah. In the end, we absolutely love keto, but we did think it would be kind of fun to come up with some ideas of what's not so great about keto. So tell us in the comments down below, what do you not like about keto? What's been a frustration <laughs> for you on keto? Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we get angry, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.